People are still reacting to the U.S. Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade, including that South Burlington mom who needed abortions because of medical issues. Local 22's Dana Casulo spoke with her today, and Dana is now live in the newsroom. Lauren, the Supreme Court's decision was heartbreaking to Carolyn Moore, a Vermont mother who says she had to have three abortions due to a fetal genetic disorder. In 2013, Carolyn Moore had her first abortion. When my husband and I were trying to have kids, um, our first pregnancy wound up being an unviable pregnancy, and it was absolutely devastating. It was a pregnancy that we really wanted. Moore would go on to have two additional unviable pregnancies due to a fatal genetic disorder called Meckel-Gruber syndrome. For me, when I had an abortion, um, you know, not only was the pregnancy not viable, um, but should I have continued to carry it, there would have potentially been some health implications for me. And so um, knowing, I mean, it's such a, a difficult, scary, sad decision um, and so personal. As a result of the Supreme Court's ruling that overturns Roe v. Wade, federal protections are gone and now sent to the states to decide. I felt a mix of sadness and anger. Um, really mad that people are making these decisions for us that should not be and then also feeling really sad. I, I honestly cried um, quite a few times. Abortion is protected under the law in Vermont, but the vice president of Vermont Public Affairs for Planned Parenthood Northern New England says she can't take anything for granted. In Vermont, we just have two year legislative terms. So every two years we uh, we see a new legislature. And so that means every two years, the question, um, you know, we're at risk again. While people could travel to Vermont for care, New York has also codified abortion rights into state law. I think some people might come here. I think it's possible, but I think it's also going to really depend on the infrastructure in, in states that are closer to those states where it's banned. Mary Hahn Beerworth, executive director of Vermont Right to Life Committee, says Friday's decision was the right thing to do. It's very important for everyone who's listening to know that abortion is legal in Vermont through all nine months of pregnancy without a single regulation or restriction and leaving an unborn child stripped of any possibility of protection right up until birth. Carolyn Moore is now a mother of three. She wants women and girls like her daughter to have the ability to access safe care like she had. Thinking about the fact that people are not going to be able to have that decision just really breaks my heart. Proposition 5 would make Vermont the first state in the country to guarantee the right to abortion in its constitution. Reporting in the newsroom, Dana Casulo, Local 22 News.